Good morning, grade eight. We'll be seeing today set two point two. Now, before we start with this set, let us see some important things related to corresponding alternate and interior angles. We have seen during set two point one, that is a real set. Uh, before this, what do you mean by corresponding angles? What are alternate? angles which are of two types that are interior alternate exterior alternate and we have seen what do you mean by interior angles now before we go to set 2.2 we need to understand few properties of these angles and it depends upon the type of lines now see this is condition a and this is condition b now in this case that is a case line m and line l m and l are parallel to each other you can see and they are cut by a transversal say t whereas in b case we can say line p and line q are not parallel they are going to intersect somewhere over here so these two lines are not parallel yet they are intersected by transversal you say s okay now we have seen whether the lines are parallel or they are not parallel as it is eight angles will be formed and they will be of following types now let us see about corresponding angles when lines are parallel i have written one pair of corresponding angle in for a figure over here that is angle a and angle b these two are corresponding angles in this case even these two are corresponding angles carefully observe this two appear to be equal in measure whereas this is very small and this is very big a and b what does this indicates this is a property of corresponding angle when two lines which are parallel to each other are cut by a transversal then the corresponding angles the pair of angles which are forming corresponding angles are always congruent so a will be congruent to b when lines are parallel okay so in this case m is n m and n are given parallel i am writing it over here for this i am writing m is parallel this is parallel sign parallel to l now here p is not parallel to p is not parallel to q so angle a is not congruent to angle b okay so these are not congruent but here they are congruent this is true for alternate angles also you can see alternate angle w and x interior alternate we have seen that they form z shape even though these two angles will be equal if lines are parallel and they are cut by a transversal then pair of alternate angles pair is formed by two angles then those two angles in a pair will be always congruent alternate angles will also be congruent in case a that is when lines are parallel that is not the case with line uh, i mean case b that is not the thing with case b w and x you can see x is this and w is this looking at the majors itself you will see they are not congruent here also they are not congruent now third property of interior angles angle x and y can you see x and y these two form interior angles now listen again if the lines are parallel then property of interior angle is different than alternate and corresponding angles in case of interior angles they will be supplementary that means addition of these two will always be equal to 180 whereas if the lines are not parallel then you can see y and x this is also acute and this is also acute two acute angles cannot form sum as 180 both are less than 90 so their sum will never come equal to 180 it will be less than 180 always so here also this is not applicable if lines are not parallel listen again if the lines are parallel and cut by a transversal two angles which are forming a pair of corresponding angles and alternate angles in both the cases those two angles which are forming the respective pairs will be congruent whereas if the lines are parallel and cut by a transversal then interior angle pair is always supplementary that means its addition will be 180 degrees unless and until you know this three properties it is difficult to solve 
exercise or set 2.2. I hope this is clear. Now keep this three properties in mind. Corresponding angles equal, alternate angles equal, interior angles supplementary if lines are parallel. With this you will be able to solve the exercise henceforth. Now just see quickly we will do it. Once you know these properties, it is very easy to solve the problems. Now coming back to our problem first. They have said that M is parallel to N. If M is parallel to N and they have asked us to find the value of X, X is equal to question mark. Now we know that these two angles are interior angles by the definition. So we may write angle 3X and angle X are interior angles. Interior angles. What is the reason? By definition. Definition of interior angles. Now it is given that M is parallel to N. So these are interior angles. They will be supplementary. So what we can write? 3X plus X. These are the measures which are given. Alright. So 3X plus X will be equal to 180 degrees. What is the reason? Interior angle property for parallel lines because it is given M is parallel to N and P is transversal. Now what we have? 4X is equal to 180. So what will be X? X is 180 upon 4 which comes out to be 90 upon 2 which is equal to 45 degrees. Okay, so once you know the property, it is very easy for uh, you to solve these problems. Alright? Okay, that's all for today. Next problems we will see all together. Second, third, fourth in our next session. Thank you.